crafty friends so glad you're joining me here for another 100 day project video and i am working in my traveler's notebook by studio calico all right so this becomes a quite a big jumble but i'm gonna kind of talk through these pieces and um it'll kind of skip to a couple of parts because i don't know where the video is so but the good news is my phone should be coming, should be here um, Tuesday. So my poor quality, video quality issues will be gone. All right, so actually talking about the video. So this is a stencil by Joggles and I love it. I got it, they had a bunch of stencils. All their 9x12s were on sale, so I picked this one up. I have my silicone mat. Um, covering my other side of the traveler's notebook so I don't get any ink on it and all I'm doing is spraying distress sprays on my glass mat and using my domed blender that I got from sp uh, scrapbook.com to fill in and cover this stencil. I am going to now add my blue to the bottom and um, I kind of work at this for quite a while and I make a lot of I do too much, but once it's done, it's done. So it's not, it did not come out how I envisioned it, and I should have stopped while I was ahead. But it is what it is. You live and you learn. You scrapbook and you learn. <laughs> so, um, yeah, it turns out pretty, but it's a little too vibrant. I'm kind of blending in those areas right there. So what I end up doing is I end up getting some white acrylic paint and painting over the top of it once it's dry. Now, side note, do not do this when it's wet. If you do it when it's wet, it's going to blend all the colors and you're going to have a muddy mess unless you have colors that are mixed well. So just a word of advice. I set it to dry and I came back and did this part. So just um, using my mermaid brush and going over, this is a Jane Davenport brush, going over the whole thing to kind of um, tame down the color. I was just, it was just a, a little too vibrant for what I wanted. Just checking the side, the back side. <coughs> Excuse me. All right, so then I get my Vicki Booten. This is from her new Let's Wander collection. And I spray it with my pixie spray and I lay it over the top. And I'm going to use some texture paste, some of the Vicky Booten texture paste through the stencil. And after this is done, I really wish I would have just left it alone because I really like how this looks now that I'm looking at it. But let bygones be bygones. The page is done. Um, but I love the way this turned out. The Vicky Booten texture paste, if you have not used it before, is amazing. I am going to have to, I don't know if it's being, if it's been discontinued or not, but I'm going to need to get more of these because it is so good. And this is a Nouveau spatula that I'm using to take this um, texture paste through the stencil onto my page. And yeah, I really, these stencils are so intricate that you really need something to, to hold them down. Um, I just got the Wendy Vecchi um, Make Art thingy majigger. It's like metal pleat with magnets. So I don't know. Sorry, I don't know how that will work um, with like the intricate stencils, but I'm going to give it a try. So, um, if you guys have not ordered from Ranger, they have the best customer service. Literally, I ordered and they, it was delivered today on a Sunday, which I was very, very surprised. So, anyways, I'm just taking the texture paste through this. Um, probably should have sped this up a little more because this is a little tedious. But, um, I end up letting this dry. I pull it off and then I let it dry before I add some to the top. And I still end up smudging it because I'm super impatient. So I do it when it's still a little bit wet and it kind of smudges. So um, before I mess it up, I decide to pull it off. So look at that. I should have left it. See me try, right? And I try. I'm like, ooh, I'm like, better not. So <laughs> I end up um, 
don't think I end up doing this. Yeah, I don't. I wipe the paste off and like, no, never mind. So this is where the footage is missing. Okay, see, that's the finished product. Really not a big fan. <laughs> it's so sad because it looks so good in that last frame. But anyways, the punched edge was what I had envisioned. So I um, definitely like that part, but I don't like how the colors came out. But it is what it is. It matches those cards on the left-hand side perfectly, so whatever. That um, kind of wood chip heart I got in Not Just for Boys Kit Club last month. And um, I did a page with the kit, but I couldn't find a use for this because I used... did a boy page and I just couldn't find a use for this so I ended up saving it and it works out perfectly for this page I am cutting this like postage stamp edge out on this uh, 3x4 card that comes in the documenter kit by um, Studio Calico's March kit yes March kit so I end up cutting out the little um, corners so it looks like a postage stamp and I do like that I'm going to tuck it behind here and layer it up. I wasn't going to use this third picture, but then I decided I wanted to cover up more of that background because I just, ugh, super not happy and disappointed that I kept going. I actually ended up putting some Nouveau em um, embellishment mousse on top too. It was just too much, too much. Sometimes uh, mixed media, depends on the mixed media, um, sometimes too much is not a good thing. Um, and this is definitely the case, but it is what it is, and I'm just going to keep keep it moving, keep using what I've got. Um, I end up switching this around, actually. I move these pieces, and I was like, I really don't like how the houses were kind of floating in space, so yeah, I was like, uh, no, so I had to move those around. Um, what am I doing? What am I doing? Oh, I'm getting my stamp. And here I'm reaching across. So my llama pajamas. Reaching across, getting my inks. I have a little ink stand um, on my desk. And that ends up, um, I end up not finding the color I want. So I go in my drawer that has more of my Studio Calico inks. And I pull those out and I get to just trying a bunch of different colors so that's what I'm doing I'm trying to figure out the stamp says embrace and I'm going to put it on that peach-ish label so I'm just trying to test out colors and see what works best I'm going to get my Sizzix stamper's best friend here and stamp oh it's not on the frame stamp a bunch of different colors so that's limelight pigment ink um, I use power suit and what going green and coral bay and i even pull out one of the ali edwards ones the green one which i'm not sure what it's called willamette maybe and you see the colors on there see how it's mixed if you look at the stamp i don't know if you can see it but it has like this little thing of yellow through it it's kind of cool see it at the bottom one but i don't end up using the, that color so <laughs> And this is the power suit. So um, that rose gold one I used in my last video. So if you look for the day five video, you'll see me stamp those butterflies with that rose gold. So anyways, oh, and then I try one more crumb brulee. And I was like, yeah, it's too, too light. So I end up not going there. All right, so take this off and kind of realize that it just kind of like don't I like anchoring my stuff I like my embellishments to be anchored to something or at least streamlined in a way so I don't like when my embellishments are just kind of floating um so I just didn't like it I didn't like that so I don't even know why I held that up over there y'all have been going through it so I've been reorganizing my craft space and literally purging my house of like so much stuff. So um, my craft space has had a complete overhaul 
I have a few more things to pick up um, at Michael's to organize and get stuff situated. And I may do a little organization series about different things that I'm doing in my scrap space. But anyways, that's what I've been doing. And so my brain is not in create mode. It's in declutter mode. So it wasn't working. As you see, I'm like with these houses and blah, 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 like back and forth, fiddle here, fiddle there. I end up like just walking away like this. I was doing this um, after I had done a big cleaning session and I ended up just like literally walking away from it because I take all these pieces off. I end up gluing them down with this glue and then that's it. I just walk away and come back again another time. So, um, and just side note, this uh, sticky thumb adhesive works great, but does not work great on this mixed media. So, all right, here I am back with another session. And what I am doing is making that um, journaling card that I had put in the center into a little flip out. So I'm going to use this one on the other side. I'm getting my scoreboard, which is going to appear in a moment. I'm going to score this little piece of cardstock, and it is going to be what I use um, in between to kind of uh, make a little flip out. And I'm going to tuck the other side underneath this page. So when I get to the other page in my uh, traveler's notebook, I'll have to figure out how to mask that or hide that. But for now, I like how that works. So when I came back, I noticed the adhesive did not work. Um, so uh, I ended up stamping. I ended up going with the power suit because I needed something bold. So I stamped the right now, and it's from that butterfly set on the left. And the embrace is from the other stamp set that's included. I think th the one I'm the one embraces for the documenter kit, I believe. I'll have to check. I'll link all the products down below um, if I can find them, and that way you can see where to get them. So I'm adding some liquid adhesive, and I decide to go ahead and use this picture that I ha wasn't going to use, but I felt like I wanted more of this background covered up because I do not know what's going on with that background. Um, doesn't uh, you'll see in the close-ups? It's it's not it's not horrible, but. Um, yeah, I wanted to cover up more of the background, so I ended up um, doing that, and then I'm going to put some of the labels down at the bottom. I use that embrace, and then I find the one with the houses. If you look on the right-hand side on my Sizzix Best Friend, there are label stickers, and I use that on there. Oh, guys, so this new Carrie Bradford um, alphabet is amazing I'm gonna link it for you you're gonna want it I can't remember the name let me see if I have it here I do I have it right here it's called Chicago and I have the numbers too but I love that stamp set um, I'm gonna end up stamping Easter on the card underneath the heart so here I'm trying to Trying to get something heavy on top to hold it down so it'll stick, so it'll dry. Um, so I let it dry, and then I'm going to add some of the houses to the top, and then a couple to the bottom. And then I think about adding the other one to the other side and decide against it. Oh, look, this title is stamped. <sighs> I don't know what's going on with my video. It's this this iPhone situation serious. All right, this is a mini date stamp that I got on Amazon. I'll link it down below. But all right, guys. Well, thanks for watching, and I hope that you guys are staying safe and doing well. If you're not a subscriber, hit that subscribe button, and your thumbs up, comments, likes are always appreciated. Until next time, I hope you have a great day. Bye, friends.